Hi everyone, it's Scavy, and we're back with my main girlfriend, and we are on episode 5, and it's just starting to get interesting, so let's get into it and see where it goes from here. The person in standing in front of me is Kim. She's still wearing her maid uniform, but it looks disheveled. She spots me and attempts to escape, but I put an arm around her waist. You're not going anywhere. Somehow, that messy uniform is really hot. What are you doing here? I decided to ask her a question first. What should I ask? You running away from the mansion? Why are you still awake? Are you running away from the mansion? I don't know why I asked that. Maybe a part of me is afraid Kim will leave me. No, do you see me with my bags? I couldn't sleep, so I took a walk around the mansion. Huh. I can't sleep either. There must be a reason why you can't sleep. We're still standing in the middle of the garden and the silence is unbearable. Kim speaks first. I'm just a bit tired from studying and cleaning. My brows I've told you several times not to overwork yourself. I need to keep up with my studies and I have to work hard. I don't want to go in circles anymore. I really need to hear Kim's reasons. Tell me, why have you been acting like we're not friends? I keep my arm around Kim's waist so she can't escape. Why are you still holding on to me? I'm not going to let you go until you tell me what I want to know. You are my prisoner. I think about the position we're in and realize our faces are incredibly close. My cheeks heat up and I step away. Kim sighs a long sigh. <sighs> because I'm a maid. I'm poor. You're rich. You're my boss, so I needed to create some distance between us. She's actually explaining things to me. want you to be biased just because we're best friends. I scratch my head. Really? You think I'll be biased? Kim, I know how to treat my maids equally. Heck, I see all of you as my friends, not just my maids. I know that, but all I want is for you to see me as an efficient maid. Not your buddy who plays video games with you. You don't have to go this far. I don't want there to be any walls between us. You're a good friend and you're honest. Ugh, you're honestly a wonderful maid. Kim's ears red and a clear sign she's getting embarrassed. I'll prove that I can be your personal maid. Why did you apply to be my maid anyway? Kim looks at the ground, defeated. I need to repay. 
pay the debts left by my father. If I don't work, the debt will never be paid. Her eyes begin to water, making my chest ache. Buy life insurance. Don't leave your family with the burden of your overdue debts. That's advertisement. I'm just kidding. I didn't know about this. Poor Kim. What should I do? What should I say? Hey, cheer up a bit. Stop crying. Stop crying, man. Suck it up. I hope that the salary you get somehow helps repay the debt. It does help, thank you. A joke might lighten the mood. You're really ugly when you cry. Whatever. You think I'm pretty even when I cry. No way. Never. Yes, you do. Do not. Our banter goes on for a moment, then it comes to an end, and my tongue slips. Yes, I think you're pretty even when you cry. So what? Also, stop making me miss you. It's too much. At that moment, an awkward silence fills the air and we both blush. The air's gotten pr pretty cold, so I usher Kim inside the house. Master, don't you think it's time to go to bed? For some reason, Kim calling me her master elicits a smile from me. I'm really glad you explained things to me. It feels like the old Kim is back, although you're more serious now. I really want to be professional. I make my way to the staircase until... Rumble, rumble. That's definitely the sound of a hungry stomach, and it's not mine. Kim's stomach is growling. Sorry, don't mind me. I got so busy cleaning that I forgot to eat dinner. I feel bad she skipped dinner just to do her maid duties. It's okay. I forget to eat all the time. It happens. Ah, I have Anna's cupcakes left in my room. Which means I can take Kim to my room to share my cupcakes. What should I do? Take her to the bedroom? Don't invite her to the bedroom. Take her to the bedroom. How can I ignore what I just heard? Oh, my hair is itching my neck. You forgot dinner because of me. I'm sorry. I can just sleep the hunger away. No, you're coming with me. I drag Kim all the way to my bedroom to share my cupcakes with her. She, she's fidgety, so I let her hand go. I let go of her hand. Why did you bring me here? Sit. My tone is serious. Kim obeys me, and I hand her a plate, the plate of cupcakes. Good girl. Obey your master. cupcakes. You can't leave until you're full. I don't like being bossy, but I'm concerned about Kim. Something in me aches when she finally takes a bite. She looks tired and hungry. Without a second thought, I reach my hand out to stroke her hair. What are you doing? 
caught red-handed. Because you touched her hair, she's gonna notice. Oh, sorry. I just thought your hair looked nice. So, I'm really sorry I'm bothering you at this hour. You'll never be a bother. Take your time. I don't mind. Ken stares at me and unexpectedly she gives me a small smile. Her smile is my weakness, but I must not fall for her. Stop it! Darn, I'm thinking out loud again. Oh shit. She Startled Kim swiftly returns a cupcake to the plate. Okay, I'll stop eating, but please don't shout. Now she looks so sad and disheartened. I'm an idiot. No, I wanted you to stop smiling. You really hate my smile that much? No, it's just that your smile is too cute. It's distracting. Kim's face flushes and she continues eating. Anyway, thank you for the cupcakes. Thank you for opening up to me, finally. You were driving me crazy. Sorry, you seem to be doing fine without me though. I may have looked fine, but I was pretty lonely when you were avoiding me. Suddenly, Kim leans forward, our bodies almost touching. Is she going to kiss me? I was pretty lonely too. I grin and look at her eyes, down to her nose and lips. She's got cupcake crumbs all over her mouth. Clean up, woman. What's wrong with you? I cup her face and leisurely begin wiping them off with my fingertips. My fingertips brush against her lips. Kim's cheeks look red, and so do mine. I really need to sleep now. Bye! Rejected. Again. So sad. Kim suddenly stands up and exits my room. Why is my heart beating like this? Though I'm severely sleep deprived, I go downstairs the next day with a full smile. I spot Kim and Mina leaving for school, as usual leaving earlier than me. Can't wait to eat what Anna's made for breakfast. But where's Anna? A few seconds later, later, Anna walks into the kitchen. She looks stressed. What should I say? Did you sleep well? I can't wait to eat what you made. All of a sudden, Anna gasps and frantically pulls ingredients out of the fridge. Master, I apologize. I was so busy cramming for exams that I forgot to make your breakfast. Now I know why you look stressed. Relax, I'm not hungry anyway. I'm just standing in the hallway waiting for the bell to ring. Five girls come to strike a conversation with me. Open conversation with you. Have I really gotten that popular? Never mind. I'm just popular for my money. Yep. This took you a while to notice that. Nobody has confessed their love for me or anything, so I'm not that popular. What's that mean? I return to the classroom. <coughs> oh, Lord, sorry. 
to take my seat. Some of my classmates corner me. Scooby, when are you going to invite us over for a house party? Yeah, is it true that you moved into a mansion? If I answer them, I might reveal that Nina and Kim are living there with me as my maids. I'll get in trouble for that. I don't live in a mansion. Besides, my dad won't let me have parties yet. I glance at Mina, who's seated beside me. She seems to overhear the conversation. Bummer. You probably aren't inviting us because your girlfriend visits you there. So many girls want to date you. You're probably taking your... You've probably taken your pick by now. I'm busy with basketball, so I don't have time for a girlfriend. Then is there someone you're interested in? Why are these guys so curious about my relationship? What should I say? Yep, there is. Nope, I don't want to answer. I don't want to answer. Why would I answer them anyway? They might just probe further. Man, I can tell you're getting popular by the way you're dodging these questions. You should get a girlfriend soon. I shrug my shoulders and see Nina blushing. The day goes by smoothly. No one in school knows about my maze, so we're safe for now. Though it's difficult, I'm trying to resist my maze charms. More and more girls are cheering for me during practice lately. Basketball practice ended late. I'm about to change when two upperclassmen approach me. Basketball superstar is here. I look around, but no one else is in the room except for me and the two guys. Their angry gazes are focused on me. You're real popular these days, thanks to your daddy's money. It's not because you're good at basketball, so don't think you can go around flirting. What are they talking about? Uh... Don't try to act clueless now. I'm serious. I have no idea what you're talking about. I feel a painful blow to my left cheek and my right. You're a weakling. Do I defend myself or escape? What should I do? Defend myself, escape. Get my ass kicked, run away. Let's get my ass kicked. I won't let people step all over me for something I didn't do. My hand clenches into a fist and I prepare, prepare to make my first hit. I miss. They're only good at basketball. You're only good at basketball. I don't want to hit you, but you're asking for it. Ramsey, stop growling. It's okay. Hit us if you can. We're older and stronger. And we are cavemen. And we must fight to prove our dominance. I ignore their words and my fist, my right fist collides with one of their faces. They hit me back, and I narrowly evade the attack. Do you want to know why we're so mad at you? Uh, yeah. Darn right I do. I'm innocent. You're playing around. You stole our girlfriends. What? I haven't even had any girls hanging around me recently. One of them punches my ear, and I fall down. They're standing us up to watch you play basketball games. Play your... Wait. Okay. That's close. I wince in pain. I have to defend myself. I don't even know their girlfriends. Hit me all you want, but it won't get you anywhere. 
your girlfriends will just hate you more if you do this. Don't pretend you know us. He comes at me with another punch, but I knock it aside with my hands. If you really love your girlfriends, then you shouldn't attack me. The only thing that interests me is basketball. And I keep it. He's right. Let's leave him alone. Fine. But don't you report this to the school authorities. You have my word. Now go on. I need to change. I know I'm innocent. So I'm able to play it cool. My face hurts. But at least I'm <laughs> Sorry, can't knock you over the camera. Bye bye. After changing my clothes, I leave the gym and bump into Nina and Kim. Oh, what a surprise. The two of you should be home by now. Al is really cool with you, Scooby. What was? Wait, did you see this? what those seniors did to me? I was going to wait for you until practice, but I saw those guys approach you. And I happened to pass by the gym on the way home. Then I saw Nina. So you guys were here to see why the seniors came up to me. They nod passively. You are really cool. We're really cool back there, Scooby. Just then. Two girls squeeze me with a huge hug. I'm feeling things I shouldn't feel. Good job, Scooby! I wake up early the next morning with a bruise on the, my left and right cheek. I must have gotten these from being punched by those guys yesterday. I glance at the clock. It's only five in the morning. It's too early. My maids won't be awake until six. Scooby, it's still early. I recognize the soothing voice. I'm not surprised to see Anna behind me. Hey Anna, good morning. Early. Wait, why do you have bruises on your face? I know that Anna's stressed from out from finals, so I won't add to her worries. I must have gotten it from being elbowed during practice yesterday. Be careful when you play, Master. early for breakfast. Maybe I'll jog. And it gives me a horrified look. I forgot to iron your workout clothes. I've been so forgetful these days. This is the second time this week that Anna forgot to do some chores. What should I do? Scold Anna. I understand. I don't understand. You still need to do your chores. So we're going to scold you. I'm not very satisfied with your performance this week. I know you're busy with school, but forgetting things twice isn't okay. Anna looks down. I'm sorry, Master. I don't want you repeating your mistakes, Anna. I hate being angry, but it's still my right as her boss to correct things. If I let everything slide, then there won't be any improvement. I'll iron them right away. I'll do better next time. Better. I'm happy. You're really maturing, Scooby. My bruise seems to ache the more I move my face. Even my backside hurts. So 
so I walk to class slowly. Seriously, those seniors can be such pumps. I don't even think that I'm popular with girls. Ironically, as I walk down the hallway, I see three girls running towards me. Scooby! They approach me like predators that have spotted their prey. We watched your basketball practice the other day. You're really the best player out there. I smile, appreciating their kind words. The other girl opens her mouth to say something, but suddenly... Mina interrupts. Excuse me, can I borrow Scooby for a second? Why? We're talking to him. Scooby and I are doing a group project together, so we need to talk about some things. I know she's lying. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let's talk about it, Mina. The girls take their leave, but not before glaring at Mina. We're, when we're finally alone, Mina speaks. I know that I was just passing by, so I probably shouldn't have interrupted, but... Are you okay? You have bruises on your face. What should I say? It hurts a lot. Don't worry about it. You should see the other guys. Don't worry about it. We're not gonna be a little bitch. I don't want to look weak in front of the girl who likes me. Mina smiles and I smile back. Always take care of you, Scooby. I think I blush because her words sound so sincere. Thanks, Mina. You're such a nice girl. Right before I head to class, I stop by my locker. Stop at my locker to get my books. I hum absentmindedly. My bruised cheeks seem to be aching less. The school nurse even gave me an ice pack. I open my locker and gasp. <gasps> Inside my locker is a letter. Who could have sent the letter? Find out in the next chapter. Okay, let's go. Who sent the letter? I wanna know. Come on, load, load, load. Episode six. It's a love letter with my name written on it. This is the first time someone has written me a love letter. Written a love letter to me. I've never had a love letter. I must admit, I'm excited to read it. Me too. I look around to check if any girls are nearby. One of them might be my admirer. I'll find out who sent me this after I read the letter. What should I do? Read the letter now. Read it somewhere private. We're gonna read it now. Cause I want to know what it says. And I'm sure all of you do too. I don't care who sees me. Carefully, I unfold the paper and begin to read. Begin reading. Dear Scooby, I've been watching you play basketball for some time now. Your rumors are true. You're a total beast at basketball. I'm grinning from ear to ear. This is great for my ego. I admire how passionate you are. More than that, you're mysterious, but warm-hearted. I brace myself to read the next line. I think I've fallen for you. I'd like to meet you after school. I'll be waiting outside the gym to hear your reply. I check the sender's name and giggle. She's one of those pretty girls from the other class. 
Passers by give me weird looks. I bump into one of my teammates in the hallway. Easy on that smile, boy. It's too bright. What are you talking about? Your smile is a little too much today. Ha! <laughs> it must be a pretty because a pretty girl confessed to me. No way. Who? I whisper the girl's name to my teammate and he freaks out. You're trending, treading dangerous water. I know she's pretty hot, but she's my classmate. So? She has a boyfriend outside school. I know this because it's a class secret. I'm still not convinced, but my teammate shows me more evidence. In the end, I've realized that it's true. The girl has a boyfriend from another school. I can't date a cheater. Class is over and I'm thinking about whether I should still meet up with this girl. Do I reject her in person or do I just text her? What should I do? First of all, you should never text somebody to reject them or break up with them because that just shows that you're a big old pussy. So, you need to meet them in person and be a man about it. Or a woman. Can't be sexist. I'll be brave and face her properly, like a true gentleman. Yes, because that is extremely important. I head over to the gym and see her there. It's such a shame. She's really gorgeous. But I think my maids are even more beautiful. Hey there. Hi. Did you read my letter? I did. And in fact, I've got something I need to say to you. The girl strokes my arm, but I step back. I'm sorry, you're very pretty, but I heard that you have a boyfriend already. Don't mind him. He doesn't go here anyway. I cringe. I want to respect you and your boyfriend, so I have to say no. I can't go out with you. Because you're a slut. She rolls her eyes at me before leaving. I knew you were no fun. As soon as I step onto the court to do my warm-up exercise, Mia comes up to me. If I were her, I really wouldn't run in such a fitted uniform. Or do I just hate the fact that my other teammates are staring? How are you doing, Aren't you cute? You came here just to ask me that? Well, I'm just concerned. Well, thank you, Nina. Fortunately, it doesn't hurt that much anymore. Oh, great! I'm ready to do my warm-up, but Nina's still standing in front of me. Is something wrong, Nina? really pretty. Yes, but I rejected her. Why? Why are you jealous? Why? Are you jealous? I know that Mina likes me, so I can't but help. I can't help but ask if she's jealous. No way. If you like her, then date her. I had to turn her down. I found out she already has a boyfriend. Just then, Mina's eyes went. Other girls are way better. Uh, I'll do my warm-up exercises now. The gym today is packed with a ton of girls cheering for me. I can see banners with my name and pictures on them. 
their chairs and strings echo through the gym. This is just practice, but I want to show you I'm not, that I'm not all about money. The practice game is intense. I'm scoring consecutive three-pointers. But then... Ah! I'm running so hard that my legs are cramping up. Scooby, heads up! My teammate passes me, passes the ball to me. This is bad. My leg hurts so bad. I glance at my coach, and he's gesturing me to, to move faster. There's only 30 seconds left. What should I do? Eat bananas. Potassium keeps your legs from cramping. Shoot the ball, pass the ball. We're gonna go for it. No pain, no gain. I'll shoot the ball. Cramps or not. Scooby, get moving. Make up your mind. Even though my leg is cramping up, I run with all my might. I focus on the hoop and aim my shot. Then I release the ball from my hands. Ow, ow, ow. I think I'm gonna fall. Sure enough, the cramps in my leg make me fall instantly. I hear the buzzer and cheers. That's a two-pointer right there. Whew, I'm glad I risked that. The coach approaches me right before I change my clothes. Hey Scooby, that was a great game out there. Thanks coach. I was having some pretty bad leg cramps though. Oh, so that's why you were kind of slowing down. But you bounced back. I'm really sorry about that, coach. Don't sweat it. By the way, can I ask you something? Sure, coach. What is it? What's the deal with you and Mina from the girls' team? The two of you seem close. Crap. I can't possibly tell him that Mina's my maid. What should I say? She has a crush on me. She wants to learn from me. She wants to learn from me. As I'm sure you know, Mina isn't the best on her team. Oh, I see. I thought you two might be in some sort of relationship. Crap, does he suspect that Mina is living with me? A far jump. No way, coach. Basketball is my only love. Ha. <laughs> Convinced. The coach nods and gives me a thumbs up before leaving. I'm dead tired from practice, so I walk slowly. I enjoy my leisurely walk until I hear familiar screams of some girls. I look over my shoulder and see a few girls chasing me. There is Scooby! I hate being a snob, but these girls follow me everywhere. I run as fast as I can to avoid the girls chasing after me. At first, the attention felt so rewarding. But I can't let them get too close or they might find out about my maids. If they find out, the school will know and expel us. <coughs> While I'm running, my phone's fussing me. Anna's calling me. I pick it up. Hi, Anna. What's up? Hello, Master. Are you still in school? Yep. Why? Perfect. I'll be stopping by to return my school records. Could you wait for me? I have cookies. What should I do? Wait for her, she has cookies. Wait for Anna, don't wait for Anna. Wait for Anna. You had me at cookies, I'll wait for you. If I stay in school, the screaming girls will get tired of chasing me and go home. Yeah. Yay, see ya. After the screaming girls go home, I finally go to the school gate. 
Anna calls my name and I look to my right. It's impossible to grow tired of her beauty, especially in her casual clothes. It went great. I had terrible leg cramps though. Oh no! Here, a cookie for your hard work. Then let me rub your calves. Make the cramps feel better. Anna takes a cookie from her bag and hands it to me. Aw, thanks. Are these from the university? Yes. I wanted to give them to you. Anna's at it again, making my heart race. You know you could have given these to me at home. I whispered the last few words that no one else would hear when living together. I know, but they're freshly baked from the cafeteria. Eat it while it's still fresh. I bite into the cookie and smile at Anna. Can I be honest? As much as I like these cookies, this cookie, your baking, still tops this. Oh, Scooby, there you go again. Don't flatter me. I look straight into her eyes. Anna, don't make me repeat myself. I really really seriously very much like your cooking and I'm very redundant and it gives me her sweetest smile and my heart goes crazy Scooby, you're too much no wonder you're so popular these days hmm who told you I'm popular See Anna's smile fade. She leans in to whisper something. You know how I always ride the train on the way home? The other day, I overheard some guys from your school. Really? What did they say about me? I wasn't able to catch much, but they mentioned something about your popularity. Like, about how girls are following you around because you're rich and athletic? I'm not gonna deny that. Being chased around kinda sucks. Then I heard one of them saying that some guys might be plotting against you. What is it because you're supposedly stealing the attention from them? I laugh it off. I don't want to make Anna worry. If that's true, then I have to be careful. My car arrives, so I say goodbye to Anna, who heads towards school to return her records. Welcome home, Master. Mina greets me, and I see that Anna and Kim aren't present. Don't tell me Mina and I are alone here. Hi, Mina. Where are the other two? Oh, Anna told me she'll be home soon. Kim is busy polishing the windows in the attic. Okay, good to know. I was starting to get nervous that we were alone. I flopped down on the velvet sofa to rest my legs. You are completely worn out, Master. Yeah, I guess I am. Practice was pretty rough. Oh, I was there when you came. I shoot Mina a look and see that she's red. And... You look so cool. You scored that last point. Huh? Thanks. I was having a leg cramp, though. Mina's expression softens. Drawing me in. That's why you look 
so tired. Can I get you something to drink? What should I ask for? Water, orange juice, and tea. Always orange juice after vigorous activities. You got a man? Bring him some orange juice. Probably just piss some people off. Hmm, maybe something sweet. Could you get me some orange juice, Nina? Yes, Master. I see Nina running to the kitchen. When she hands me the juice, I immediately take a swig. Ah, the juice really hits the spot. Thanks, Nina. Anything for you, Master? It's past midnight, and here I am, tiptoeing in my own kitchen. I don't want to wake my maids up, just because I can't sleep. I grab a glass, and get some water. The clock says it's half past twelve. Darn, another sleepless night, I guess. Master, you're here too? Did somebody just talk to me? Turn around and spot Cam. Is something bothering you? Kim is my friend, so I can be honest with her. She's right. I can't sleep because I'm worried about something. I nod my head and look at her with puppy dog eyes. I'm kind of anxious about the attention some of the students are giving me. It's not like I hate them, but things could get tricky if they keep following me around. I don't get it. Kim, students spread rumors. If they stick their noses deeper into my private life... Oh, now I get it. They'll invade your privacy and find out about us, your maids. Correct. You know that I don't want the school to ever find out. That's why I can't sleep. Help me out here. Then, do you want to take a walk with me? What should I say? You're gonna take a walk anyway. So, let's say sure. Sure, I'd love to. All right, let's walk around the yard. The midnight breeze is chilly, yet comforting. I'm sorry I'm cutting into your sleep. Shut it. I'm the one who invited you for a walk. Although the skies are dark, I can still see how pretty Kim's eyes are. It makes me want to stare at her forever. You probably use that trick on half the girls in school. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? That. You stare at girls with those big eyes of yours. It's not working on me, Scooby. I'm immune to that. So she really thinks I look at every girl like this? That's where you're wrong. Think before you speak. You're making an ass of yourself. <laughs> you and your pickup lines. Ken shivers from the cold and I start to feel a little concerned. I move closer to her. I'm about to do something. If you hate it, just tell me. 
take her left hand and put it inside my coat pocket. Uh, I need to keep her warm. So I'm holding her hands in my pocket. What are you doing? I... Kim, you're freezing. You'll catch a cold. If you catch a cold, you... who's going to clean my room? I hope she doesn't hate this. I like how tiny and soft her hand feels. Before I even realize it, all my worries seem to have subsided. Do you remember how I used to defend you from bullies when we were young? Huh? Are you trying to tease me because I used to be a coward? Kim clutches my hand inside my pocket. Dummy, he was trying to say that I'll still protect you if guys bully you for being popular. I know I'm blushing, but whatever. No, it's my turn to protect you. Kim flinches and pulls her hand out of mine. Don't be so sappy, Scooby. You should only say things like that to the girl you like. like this. Uh, uh, mm, big stretch. I'm so sleepy. I barely got any sleep last night. I walked lazily to get my stuff from my locker. Mm, I wonder if I'll have another love letter. <laughs> my smile instantly disappears when I open my locker. A chill runs down my spine when I see the note inside. What's inside the note? Keep playing to find out. I'm going to leave this episode here. You should want to find out what's in that note. So watch again tomorrow in the next episode. If you like it, please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy it. I'm having fun doing this one. These characters are a trip. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!